Good evening, and welcome to another episode of Secret Society of Veterans. I'm your host, Anthony Rivera, a Navy veteran off the USS Carl Vinson. Today, uh, I wanted to ask a couple of questions to our listeners out there about how are they dealing with depression, anxiety issues. I want to know... Uh, what tools do you use to be able to get through your day, get through your evening, get through just being who the person you are? You know, I know we've dealt with uh, in the military with a lot of crazy stuff, and it's made us a little bit not normal like we uh, went in. So I, I would love to get the uh, opinions of others out there on how can you cope and deal with the depression and the uh, anxiety this will be this is another episode episode three i believe and let's get to it so welcome back welcome back I enjoy doing these podcasts. These podcasts actually keep my brain and my mind and everything uh, at ease. It's so peaceful. Uh, So, yeah, our our topic was uh, of today was depression and anxiety and how do you cope? Um, Being a veteran, I uh, I have a lot of anxiety and depression, not just from military time, but also from just everyday life. Everyday life throws things at you that. we sometimes can't deal with, sometimes we can't cope with. Uh, we've had issues with family, issues with friends, you know, um, military, work status, financial, uh, just your everyday life type things. How do you cope? How do you deal? How do you uh, get through your day? Well, for me, um, I've learned to take all those monkeys that are in your head because I know all of us have uh, this feeling of having so many bouncing balls or so many monkeys in our brain that we can't just grasp one task, one monkey, one ball, blue ball, green ball, yellow ball, doesn't matter whichever monkey it is, but to grab that monkey and just accomplish the goal for that monkey. So it causes us our anxiety our problems, our depression when we don't accomplish our goals because us as service members, we are service members. We serve and we love to see the accomplishments from our services. Um, being that me, uh, I, you know, I've dealt with divorce. I've dealt with not seeing ch- my children. I've dealt with uh, girlfriends, you know, uh, friends passing away, uh, Finding out where my next meal is going to come from, uh, work status, financial. I've dealt with so many things, so many problems, so many issues that uh, I've had a lot of monkeys in my brain. And the way that I've coped was now I'm coping with doing this podcast. Um, I've coped with, I've started bike riding. I've started doing a lot of little, you know, extracurricular activity used to play video games for a little bit, but and then it got to the point where, eh, 44 years old, uh, I'm tired, I'm bored. So I pick it up every once in a while, and I play the games. But I've tried to get into the more productive stream of things. I've tried to start reading books now of entrepreneurship and things to that effect. So coping, coping for everybody is different. I would love to know um, from my listeners out there, uh, what are their coping mechanisms? How do they cope? Um, If you guys don't know, if you download this app and uh, go into the app, you can give me a phone call. Uh, You can call the uh, podcast show and leave your comments and questions in the podcast. And I can add them to our uh, next episode or I can add them to uh, just a random comment you know, Q&A type thing. 
Um, I appreciate all you guys listening and you might be coping with some sort of depression or some sort of anxiety that you are listening to this podcast and trying to figure out what you're going to do for the next day. Maybe I might give you the idea here. I might be able to give you the, uh, the answer, but, um, the answer is within you. You're the answer. You are the one that are able to manipulate yourself to be able to be in a happy place, a happy point of view, positive vibe and of positive energy. The more you have monkeys in your brain, it becomes such a negative and you don't want to do that to yourself no more. So by coping with those things, one by one, inch by inch, you are eliminating each one of those things that are holding you down and stressing you out. You grab one, you accomplish it. Grab the other, you accomplish it. Now you're proud of yourself. Now your energy level is going up. Now you want to keep going and do other things. And now all of a sudden, you're in Ecuador, enjoying your life, climbing mountains and living life. Because those were one of the goals that you were trying to accomplish that had kept you depressed and anxious and You weren't able to because you had so many other little monkeys jumping around in your head. But you have taken those monkeys and have calmed them down to be able to accomplish the main mission. And that's what we're here for, all of us, to accomplish the main mission. We are here to accomplish the mission of being here for each other and being able to cope with our depressions and our anxieties together. So if you're not able to, listen We all are human and we all have been through things. Grab somebody and talk to them. Grab somebody and let it go. Depression is, yes, very, very hard to deal with. But with little ways of dealing with it, you will be able to get that depression down to a minimum. Down to a minimum. All right, so we're going to go into a commercial break and um, we'll be back in just a few minutes. If you're a veteran or just anybody that likes to hear good stories, likes to hear things that might guide them through life, why don't you check out the podcast on Anchor called Secret Society of Veterans. Every episode, we have someone new, something new, and things to put out there. We have different groups, different uh, entertainment, and just stuff that might be helpful to you, the veteran. Also, we have a group on Facebook called Secret Society of Veterans. So if you're interested, why don't you come over, check us out, stay a while, and enjoy the information. Thank you very much. This has been a message from Secret Society of Veterans. So we're back to Secret Society of Veterans, episode three. We have a special guest on the line with us today. And uh, introduce yourself. Um, my name is Teresa Alcazar, and I'm a 9-11 disabled combat war veteran. Is that and what you want to hear? Uh, and we, we served together on the USS Carl Vincent. We've been friends for uh, over 20 years, I guess you could say. Another yeah. over 20 years friends. How have you been? I've been good, good. How, just, just doing my self meditation, drawing, and and just coping, just with wow. today, you know, wow. just like your daily day. It's funny. It's funny you say that because I was just doing a segment on uh, depression and anxiety and coping, me- cope with uh, your everyday life and how to get back to uh, just a normal way of thinking and a normal way of life. So, being that you said that, what were you doing for your coping? How were you coping? Well, initially, um, I just wanted to make sure that I was in um, a colder space because that helps um, bring my physiological stance, like my physiological stance, like however my physiological response system is on that fight or flight back down to the norm because it lets me know I'm present because it's like it, it shocks my body type of thing. So I set up my environment. So um, as I'm outside, I have my easel out. I mean, you know, I'm going to create the, the set, the scene. So I'm going to have the music, the ambiance of a, of a calming 
of whatever is calming for me, you know? And and it and it just takes me out of my place as you're getting ready and you're and, and as you're fixing your spot, as you're as you're creating your ambiance of um meditation call it what you want you know what i mean you need to smoke a cigarette Correct. you need to go out to the patio because you need to get your head your 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 mind you know changed you know in a different direction right That's, so you, so you setting was, that up was, helps change that hmm. so i was i was speaking on you know we we sit there as combat veterans and we mm-hmm. uh have so many like monk, I call them monkeys or balls or whatever you want to say. Mm-hmm. But I say uh, monkeys jumping around in our head, and a lot of us aren't able to just uh, grasp one monkey and right. accomplish that mission because we have so many monkeys, and it's causing us the anxiety and the depression and things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, when you were, when you was when you came out, did you have that feeling of having all this anxiety and monkeys jumping around in your head, and you needed to accomplish one goal but you couldn't because of all those monkeys? No, initially when I got out, no. I mean, I actually was um, like I, I call it the seventeen, um, the seventeen-year-old superhero syndrome, and I think that's actually a, a, a description that they use in psychology, right? Well, I mean, and I guess that I mean, as I am, I, I'm aware now, that's my active. That was an active form of my PTSD. Is that I'm invincible. So when I got out, I did a lot of things. I've done. I, I mean, I did so much things that I that I didn't even know when I was exhausted. There was no meditation. There wasn't no calming nature. There was no anxiety. I wasn't feeling fear. I wasn't feeling challenged. I mean, there wasn't, it made me just challenged in a sense because I'm gonna be, or maybe even not even challenged because I was already dominant. I was already a go-getter. There was only black and white thinking. I'm gonna go get that and that's it. It was but always this. For, but that's not for everybody. Everybody's not a dominant and a go-getter. No, a lot of no, they're not. Out. A lot of people come out and they have a weakness that they don't right. have now the backing and the support of the service and they feel right. that they come out into the real world like kind of like to, to everything everything just being against them so right being that there's you know a lot of people do come out in better ways and and a lot of people don't come out in better ways but for your right. advice what would you give someone as a, as an advisor what would you body uh, that is I don't want to say weak but doesn't come out with the strength that you did that you came out with. I mean, I I think that's actually um quite in 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 perspective of weakness. I think that's just quite the opposite. I, I what I advise the individual who gets out in that it recognizes that they're emotionally challenged, perhaps, or their anxiety, or they're not they're not feeling um, adequate. You know what I mean? For themselves, like they just are, you know, that they already are now addressing their physiological responses. They are now addressing like what's wrong with me. That's the best place to be at. I wish I was there when I got out of the military rather than being disconnected. You know what I mean? And touching right. all this greatness, but yet not being present. You know, um, I advise them to keep on continuing to um, to re- to journal. I advise them to journal. I advise them to look into um, the VA at the VA hospital, regardless of the reps the VA call up, they have the, the the strongest background dealing with those that come back from combat or have or have PTSD. They're they're the ones, uh, you know. So that if you are present enough to now want to change something about your feelings or your uncomfortability within your own skin, then go do it. Run right. with it. It ain't, right. it ain't gonna be an easy journey because it's not an easy for journey for me to even today as I'm barely in my healing within um, since 2013. It ain't easy, but it definitely gets better, which is, you know, in, I know it sounds insane. That's what everybody says, but it does. It, right. it just gets better. You're able to cope. You can breathe. You can allow yourself to cry sometimes, even when you don't want to and you hate it, you know? Right. But that's the beautiful part about living. And I just tell, so if my only advice to the veteran is, or the one that is just barely getting out of the service or still is in the service, or a veteran that's now barely trying to understand and, and trying to grasp the ideal of what's life or what's their pursuit to happiness. Well, self discovery is the key. You know what I mean? And those emotions right. are going to help you discover that. That's and, it. Self discovery you know, self discovery is actually really the key. You focus on yourself and everything else falls into into place. So um not not trying to switch subjects, but what are you um are you in any community community uh advocacy programs? Are you doing anything for the community? Are you uh 
Well, you know, as far as advocacy, I think everybody could be an advocate. And yes, I am. Um, I initially started as I advocated for myself and, and as I still do, because that's going to be advocating for my other fellow veteran that feels the same way I do, which we we find ourselves in that commonality once you find yourself amongst that world of other fellow veterans that are healing or learning how to cope. Um, 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 I'm with the American GI Forum um, of California. I am a chapter commander here in San Pedro. I'm barely trying to um, establish as a piggyback and, and bring more awareness to this 501c4, which is like DAV, Purple Heart, um, um, American Legion, and that other and that other entity. I forgot what they, they call them. I think it's called, um, what do you remember what that? Which, American, uh, the American Legion, the and they have that other, uh, that veterans other, of foreign wars. The, yes, yes, and there's only because there's only five progressive chartered um, right. 501c4s. You know what I mean? So yes, I'm a part of that organization called the American GI Forum. We're trying to establish ourselves even stronger in the Los Angeles, California um, demographics. Okay. Um, I do cut. I, I do events. We cut hair for the homeless and the disadvantaged and the veterans that are looking and seeking for employment. Um, um, I've done advocacy work i spoke on panels i go to the va i as i not only because when, when in my journey of my healing and my advocacy work i had to advocate for yourself because how do you know what other veterans are feeling right right, right. so you can and, and you could never really advocate from a place of no understanding you know oh, I mean? also if you guys if, i'm sorry for cutting this off but um if you guys don't know uh on facebook she's also one of the admins and an advocate there you can always contact Teresa on the uh secret society of veterans group that we have there well go ahead i'm, I'm i apologize i wanted to let everybody know that because you are no that's great and that's great information right no that's great information to pass out because i'm being more than happy to help out a fellow veteran or a family member a, a, a child that is um also probably dealing with the residuals of ptsd that maybe their mother you know at, that who was in active duty is you know embracing and embarking and they're struggling with that I, I, you know, what to do. I'm, right. I, I, I want to be the biggest support to those that are like me and right. not like me. You know what I mean? We're human. I mean, but if I could be an advocate to the dogs and the cats and, you know, and all these other, you know, aspects, I would, you know, but right now I'm focusing on self and, the, and what's self that's surrounding self, you know what I mean? Like such as your children, your home, you know, so I would love to help that back, give that back because I'm in that present I'm in that present state, right? Like, because I'm continuing to learn and grow and cope oh, with these new, uh, uh, these new answers, uh, you know? And I don't know if I said that right, but, you know, these new answers that, that seem to come up as PTSD seems to have an array or an abundant um, 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 subcategories of disability. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah, right. depression, anxiety. Right. You know I mean, I mean, I mean, it's so commonly, I mean, it's according to the doctors that I've, I've seen, um, it is almost just, the descriptive of PTSD is almost just like bipolar. You know, and, and, and I almost wanted to be diagnosed bipolar, to be honest with you. I was like, please, doctor, diagnose me bipolar, because you got to give me the answer to why I can't stop crying, why I'm so, you know, why it just why I can't stop crying at when I when when my emotions were now running like right. rapid you know vampid you know because I'm now I didn't know how to I didn't know how to address it or cope with it I didn't even know how to and identify now, it and now you you're still struggling with that and you're you're still you're struggling working. with that you're working you're working and we we all out here in uh in this real world are all working to try to make ourselves better and feel better for ourselves right. and for our families. Because it's the pursuit because it's the pursuit of happiness, right. right? It's the pursuit of happiness and it's the pursuit of us, exactly. Well right. thank you so much, yeah. T. Thank you so much, Teresa. Let everybody know where they can find you. You can find me on Facebook um, at Maria Teresa Esperanza Alcazar. You can find me on the Secret Society of Veterans. You could even ask questions and my fellow counterparts will as far as their admins, such as my, um, such as yourself, you know what right. I mean? Would reach out to me if I'm not, if I'm not, um, if I'm not available at the moment. Available at that very second, right? Thank um, you so much for your time. But before, before, before you hang up on me, can I just give a couple resources out to the public eye that yeah, I know that would come very beneficial? Um, 
I believe that the Wounded Warrior Project is an awesome program for you, your kids, and your children. I think they are truly are the one-stop shop. Um, they will help you get service connected. They will help you um, if you need legal, if you need legal, financial, um, even mental health help. They will help get you situated. If you feel like you don't know or your VA ain't helping you, please check out WoundedWarriorProject.com. Register with your DD-214. And I'm sure that you will be just as content and happy as I am from my experiences with them. I also want to refer, um, if you guys are in the Los Angeles, California area, we have Volunteers of America. Um, there are also another organization that will help you, um, such as with your HUD-VASH, SSBF, if you are trying to establish your foundation, such as your home. There's also another organization that they call um, Red, White, and Blue. And Red, White, and Blue is a, another, is organization that will help take veterans out of their comfort zone and still intermingle and learn how to build a a support group amongst your fellows because right. only your fellows and yourself could only understand what you're going through right okay so as you're building a support group you're playing softball you're in sports you're doing a marathon or run with your fellow veterans and and mind you so the wounded warrior project does that as, as does that as well and these so, are all coping mechanisms just like the episode says <laughs> thank you so much t you're welcome i appreciate you no i appreciate you too bro going to a commercial and we'll be right back <laughs> If you're a veteran or just anybody that likes to hear good stories, likes to hear things that might guide them through life, why don't you check out the podcast on Anchor called Secret Society of Veterans. Every episode, we have someone new, something new, and things to put out there. We have different groups, different uh, entertainment, and just stuff that might be helpful to you, the veteran. Also, we have a group on Facebook called Secret Society of Veterans. So if you're interested, why don't you come over, check us out, stay a while, and enjoy the information. Thank you very much. This has been a message from Secret Society of Veterans. Thank you for joining us on today's episode of Secret Society of Veterans. I thank all the listeners. I thank all the help that I get from the callers and the ones that I um, interview. I thank you all. Please keep your life safe. Keep the next man and woman's life safe. Let's make this world peaceful. And let's, like Ellen DeGeneres says, let's love one another. Let's give each other hugs. Thank you again for joining us at Secret Society of Veterans. Till the next one.